Israel has a story unlike any other. From the time the Israelites first settled in the land and throughout centuries of exile and war, Israel was to eventually re-emerge as a nation. Jewish exiles began their return to Israel in the late 1800s, and over three million Jewish immigrants have come from more than 120 nations since Israel was re-established. The Hebrew prophets spoke of this day when the Jewish exiles would be restored to the land of Israel. For I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all countries, and bring you into your own land. Before officially being declared a state, Israel already had its own national orchestra, the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra, its own university, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, its own research center, the Weizmann Institute of Science, and its own hospitals, such as Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem. Israel's founding leader, David Ben-Gurion, said that this land was the birthplace of the Jewish people. The prophet Isaiah spoke long ago about the revival of the Jewish nation in their ancestral homeland in our day. Shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. Israel was officially reborn as a nation on May 14, 1948. But the nation's rebirth also came amid birth pangs. Modern Israel was established just three years after the end of the Holocaust, when over six million Jews were murdered by the Nazis. Then, as Israel declared its independence, the nation had to fight off five invading Arab armies. Remarkably, Israel repelled these attacks, and in 1967, Israeli troops recaptured the beloved city of Jerusalem from Jordanian hands. The Psalms speak of Israel's rebirth as a great dream that would finally be realized, and it would fill the Jewish people with great joy. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Over the decades since, Israel has built upon that dream by overcoming many obstacles and by entering into peace accords with neighboring Arab countries. Both before its statehood and afterwards, Israelis began to cultivate the desert and through their efforts, over 300 million trees have been planted since 1901. Israel is now a vibrant democracy in the Middle East, promoting free speech among its citizens and excelling in such fields as agriculture, high-tech, research and development, and cybersecurity. The story of Israel's journey has been full of challenges and hardships, but it is also a story of resilience and innovation, of a dream realized and biblical prophecies fulfilled. The International Christian Embassy Jerusalem salutes the people of Israel as they celebrate 75 years of independence. <laughs>